Hey, welcome back. In the last video, I calculated the stats of all the foot soldiers, getting their DPS, rate of fire, and of course, the time to kill. This video, I'll be doing the same thing for P Shooter and his variants. Once again, I left timestamps in the description, as well as a list of all my findings, so if you want to skip to a specific part of the video, head on down there. P Shooter was a bit more difficult than Foot Soldier, but despite that, I've made sure all my math is as accurate as possible. And once again, prepare yourself for a lot of numbers. Starting off, once again, I've got some basic stats to gloss over for anyone who's not like me and pays way too much attention to a Plants for Zombie shooter for 2016. First off, we have ammo. Most P shooters start with 10 ammo per clip, with a couple like Ice P, Agent P, and Plasma P going just a couple over, or Rock P and Electro P going just a few under. Law and Commando P are outliers here, with Law having a consistent 6 and Commando with 30 to 35. After that is Reload. P shooter reloads range anywhere from 2.5 to 1 second, with the highest being Fire, Ice, and Toxic P, all with 2.5 seconds without any upgrades, with the lowest being Electro P with a 0.9 second reload, with both reload upgrades equipped. Finally, we have damage numbers. Most people already know this, but P shooter and Electro P have nearly identical damage, Fire, Ice, and Toxic P have nearly identical damage, and Rock P is bad. It's also interesting to note that Plasma P's non-charged fire has no damage falloff, and Agent P's critical damage is always double that of his body shot damage. Before we move on to the most interesting bits, we gotta move on to P-Shooter's most defining trait, Splash Damage. Most P-Shooters do the same 10 damage at all ranges, but Rock and Electro deal extra Splash Damage with 12 and 16 respectively. Electro P's Detonation Splash will also always deal 27 damage at all ranges, regardless of how close your target is to the center. For Rate of Fire, we need to get each character's rounds per minute. You find rounds per minute by dividing a character's clip size by how long it takes them to empty that clip, and then multiplying that number by 60. Doing this to all the characters, I got this. Most P-Shooters fire at the same 112.3 rounds per minute, and most variants that don't are pretty similar in rate of fire. Energy P and Commando P are pretty similar, only differing by about 60 rounds per minute, and Plaza P is about double that of P-Shooters. Interesting to note is that the rate of fire of Electro P's auto-detonation is less than that if you don't detonate your shots, which I don't think most people know. It's slightly slower, but by a small enough margin, you won't be able to tell without a direct comparison. Or, you know, just doing the math. Law P is a very interesting case, as his fire rate is as fast as you can physically pull the trigger. That's why people will use modded controllers and auto-clickers with them to pretty much cheat the game into firing off all six shots in a tiny fraction of a second. This poses a problem for me, because without an actual rate of fire I can measure, I can't give proper damage per second in time to kill Velos for him, so I'm kinda stuck in a bit of a situation here. I figured I'd just bite the bullet and use myself as a realistic average for his rate of fire, unloading his clip in 0.498 seconds, basically half a second, giving me a rate of fire of 722.9 rounds per minute. Finally, let's move over to damage per second, or as everyone knows it, DPS. DPS is a ratio, that being damage over time, so calculating it is just as simple as a multiplication problem. You take a character's damage number and multiply it by the rounds per second. I did that for each variant at 4 separate ranges and got this chart. I used P Shooter as my basic average due to him being the default variant, and therefore what the others were balanced around. Fire, Ice, and Toxic P all fall behind P Shooter due to the fact that they directly trade damage for elemental effects like Freeze and Afterburn. Electro P is pretty much identical to P Shooter for everything that isn't long range, of which he plummets down to the 20s, and for a very interesting reason, because Electro P is a detonation variant, he can only have one projectile on the screen at time, meaning his rate of fire and DPS at longer ranges will suffer due to this. This one tiny thing pretty much nerfs his long range capabilities into the Stone Age, so you can pretty much give up on hitting people around corners from a long distance with this guy, because you're better off just running over them and firing at them normally. Although for some reason Rock P still has a lower damage per second at long range. God, mastering the guy was a nightmare. Uh, anyway, uh, Commando P is worse than P shirt at all ranges besides close range, which is surprising because I just thought he'd be terrible. Agent and Law P both take the higher spots, with Agent beating out Law by a bit due to his more consistent damage. I also calculated the DPS of a Loppy with a modded controller or autoclicker, but I left it grayed out as it obviously doesn't apply when it comes to comparison. Plaza P also has a significantly higher DPS than P-Shooter due to his more consistent damage. Now for what a lot of people probably just skipped to, yes, I see you there in the back, time to kill. Time to kill is calculated by dividing the character you want to send back to spawn's health by the DPS of the character doing the shooting. That works for most full auto and fast firing characters like Commando and Agent P, but for the other P-Shooters, we'll need to get fancy. Due to their burst fire nature, we can't just plug two numbers in. 
Rather, we need to multiply a character's attack interval by one less of the amount of shots they need to vanquish, which is both easier and harder than it sounds at the same time. I also did the time to kill for each character at both point blank and long range, meaning for the latter, I'll need to add the character's projectile travel time to their time to kill. And after about five hours of math, here we are. Let's go through this list. First off is Peter. Like earlier, he's our basic average and has pretty average time to kill stats. Nothing too impressive here. Fire and Toxic P are basically the same character. I did the same thing I did with Centurion in the last video with them, creating a second line below them where a character is deemed vanquished after the health is low enough to die to the afterburn or poison damage. Overall, they don't compare to Peachitter, but Fire P is slightly faster than Toxic P, so if you're choosing either, Fire will usually be the better option, bar a couple scenarios. Ice P pretty obviously will vanquish slower than Peachitter, but he will freeze in 3 shots with the upgrade, meaning his time to kill is theoretically 1.056 seconds for each health pool, making him better than Peachitter in a lot of situations. Of course, if there happens to be any healing involved, he basically just becomes a worse version of Fire P. Just like in DPS, Commando P is better than Peachitter at close range, and worse at medium and longer ranges. He's also slower against scientists than Peachitter, which is actually pretty big considering Peachitter can actually hold his own against scientists pretty well at close range, but Commando B can't. NGP is better than Peachitter at every range and health pool, taking the top spot for 200 at close and long range as well as every health pool besides 75 at long range. He actually manages to beat out Lopi with an auto clicker at all long range health pools besides 75. Lopi goes pretty much the opposite way of Agent P. Lopi is better than Peachitter at all health pools, taking the top spot for every close range health pool besides 200. He also takes the top spot for long range 75. It's also pretty important to note that he can kill every character besides Super Brains, All Star, and Rhodey Z with a health upgrade in less than half a second. Pretty scary if you ask me. Plus, if he with no charge pretty consistently beats out Peachitter, with the exception of fighting scientists, of which he's slower. However, when you start him with a fully charged shot, it becomes a very different story. With a pre-charged shot at close range, you can kill imps instantly, kill scientists in a singular frame, and kill foot soldiers in half a second. He still manages to be slower than Agent P at killing all-stars though, which I can't decide if that's impressive on Agent P side or just kind of sad on Plus P side. Obviously I grade this out, as you won't have a fully charged shot if they're ready for literally every gunfight, but smart Plasma P players tend to usually be charging a shot before going into fight, so it's still important information. Rock P is actually terrible. It is hard to convey in words just how bad he is. He gets 8 shots and does a whopping 22 damage at point blank. He could have been a good character if he was like Metal Pedal and was just slower with more health, but no. They had to bring back the stupid less damage for more splash giving from Barry Shooter, and yes, I am still stalking him at mastering this guy. His only use is spamming the hell out of P Gatling, because the extra health makes him really tanky when you factor in the resistance. Electro P's time to kill at close range is identical to that of P Shooter, but really falls of a long range with the previously mentioned situation with his attack interval. Time for kill for his detonation damage is slower than his directs, for obvious reasons, and will be overall less effective at close range than just hitting direct shots. Most Peachers are pretty average in their DPS and time to kill. Most of them are slower than Foot Soldiers and Corns, but of course they have Splash Damage and other gimmicks to balance it out. The three obvious exceptions here are Agent, Law, and Plasma P, as each of them all have amazing DPS and time to kill, especially in comparison to the other Peachers. Agent and Law are pretty notorious already for dealing a lot of damage and quick vanquishes, but I feel like Plasipi is really slept on. His potential time to kill is really high with the pre-charge, and even without charging, his DPS is better than most p -shooters. I guess he gets overshadowed by how consistent Agent and Law are in the general existence of Electro P. I'll be doing Scientist next, so make sure to subscribe to stay notified of when that gets released. These videos take quite a while to make, even without the fact that I've still got a few characters to master, so feel free to drop a like if you found this useful or just enjoyed it. Anyway, I've got to grind the hell out of Armor Chomper, so I'll see you in the next one.